We're prepping for the new flight pen. For our quail. An old hog pen. <clears throat> my son and my niece with us. So Hey guys, this is Ethan Bird at Bird's Quail Farm. You can tell we finished our flight pen. Sorry I didn't update y'all as much as I was going to or would, would have liked to. But you can tell we got some quails flying around or running around. New flight pen. The dimensions are 10 by 20. This is our flight pin. It's a 10 by 20, one inch PVC covered fence with 10 across the bottom and a 10 roof. And we just had this old door laying around, so I framed it up, put it in. We got about 100 or so quail in there, and 10 by 20 is plenty for them. Can barely see them all in the corner. Next year we hope to to build another one, either beside it or maybe connect it to this one. <laughs> so we have double the storage. Got them a little brush pile in there so they can hide under. And uh, trying to come up with some more ideas. That way they feel safe from predators. Even though they will be safe. But kind of get them used to the wild whenever we turn them loose. They can feel right at home. Sorry, I wasn't able to record much to show you the process. I was by myself mostly, and it was hard to record and work at the same time. I have to get me a, a tripod so I can set my camera up. We still got a few touches to, before we complete, but for the most part, it's finished. Gonna conclude this video for Bird's Quail Farm. Hopefully next time y'all see me, we're out in the field doing a little hunt. We got a, a new dog that we're training. And hopefully another. Just to give y'all a little update on the ones we hatched out in the last video. This is our Caternix. We like to leave the, the jar water is in there for a little while so they can get used to the, the liquors. This is our Bob White, so we hatched out. Now I got some chicken eggs and some more Bob White eggs in the incubator. <laughs>